Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. On screen now, take a look, take a good look. This is a visual representation of the WBA, the oldest sanctioning body. This is a visual representation. See that foot right up in that, in that mouth there. And it sometimes feels like the WBA with its rankings, multiple champions, general shenanigans, and just uh, tomfoolery that's out of hand, out of control, that that foot is firmly placed in its mouth permanently, on a permanent basis. Remembering this is the oldest of the sanctioning bodies, but seemingly often having the least wisdom. And the latest in a long long, 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 long line of clangers that its longtime president Gilberto Mendoza has delivered. He has come out defending each boxing division having multiple champions. But not just that, justifying it with all sorts of nonsense, which I'm going to proceed to actually get into in a meaningful way. And I'll be responding to his comments in the context of the heavyweight division, where there's four so-called champions but broadly speaking, the general tenor of my comments, it's going to resonate you know, across boxing divisions at large. But Mendoza's statements, and we will get to them, they run counter to the WBA and his previously stated desire to rationalize the belt situation at heavyweight in particular. And more on that soon, including a montage that I've whipped up, embarrassing Mendoza, proving that he's a massive, massive hypocrite. But I guess we already knew that he was. But first, we'll get to Mendoza's statements to set the scene for the demolition job that's to come. So buckle up. Let's go. So Gilberto Mendoza, who's been the WBA president for decades now, he says, They tell me that there must be only one champion, but they don't give me a solid argument. They tell me the titles are devalued. But when we talk about making a tournament to set a single champion, not everyone wants to enter it. When we talk about accepting a champion versus champion fight, not everyone is willing to take part. And on the other hand, a boxer with a title does better. A boxer who gets himself a title fight does better. A network that broadcasts a title fight does better. A promoter who has a title fight does better. The same fan who complains, if he knows there is a title at stake, they are more attentive. We would love to have a balance in terms of titles, but what is the balance that we could offer? The ideal thing would be to do a tournament like the World Boxing Super Series does, where we have the best and not just the fighters that a promoter or two offer us. Gilberto Mendoza. There is just so much silliness about those statements to unpack. It's, you know, it's, it's so bad that it is funny. But first, in respect of the heavyweight division... About four years ago, Mendoza released a video statement saying they wanted to rationalize the belt situation at heavyweight as fans expected, and that the way to do it was through a tournament. And the mention of a tournament, you heard it earlier, I'll come back to that later as well. But first, here's two snippets of Mendoza's previous position on eliminating belts at heavyweight. The WBA will have only one champion as everybody expects. The WBA will have only one champion as everybody expects. The WBA will have only one champion as everybody expects. One champion like everybody expecting from the WBA and like everybody wants. One champion like everybody expecting from the WBA and like everybody wants. One champion like everybody wants. One champion like one champion. One champion. One champion. Like one champion like everybody expecting from the WBA and like everybody wants. The WBA and like everybody wants. Pretty clear the direction of travel. But almost immediately their proposed tournament didn't pan out and in the intervening years they actually added an extra belt, the gold champion. So now we have a super champion, a regular champion, an interim champion and a gold champion. It's absolutely flaming ridiculous and Mendoza trying to justify having multiple champions at all weights so we're going to address his statements one by one and then get to some final wrap-up thoughts because we know what this is really all about and you know even though he didn't say it we know it's what it's all really about 
but more on that later. So the first piece where he says that he doesn't get any valid reasons that there must be only one champion. But then in the next breath says he's told that the titles are devalued by having more than one champion. That is a big reason to have one champion so you can have some value and put some stock into the title. Having four heavyweight champions in particular is ridiculous. It waters down the actual value of the proper belt because you as the organization, the WBA, end up looking like a money-grubbing joke. And having four champions doesn't guarantee you're going to get the best guys as the champion. And in the case of the WBA... Right now, we have Anthony Joshua, a unified champion, super champion. He holds that designation. But then under that, you have kind of the dregs. You've got Manuel Char, who fought for a vacant regular title in 2017 against Alexander Ustinov. No one was calling for that belt to be on the line, except Char and Ustinov, you know, for having that there for the purposes of sort of selling that fight. But it came on right at the end of, you know, it was in fight week that that title got put on the line. So the thing is, he's about to say it's it's pretty hard to, um, you know, get rid of titles and that, all the stuff that he goes on to say further in a statement, which we're going to come to. They have previously said that they wanted to rationalize titles. An opportunity to rationalize a title back in 2017 when the WBA regular title was vacant was not put it on the line for anyone. Just retire the belt. But they couldn't do it. They just couldn't do it. They put it on there. No one in the fan world wanted that to be for a title, a so-called regular title, or it's, it's effectively, it's a secondary belt. It's a trinket. And it's just lucky for us that that guy, Manuel Char, has been a bit of a joke of a champion, as it, as it were, and hasn't fought since. You know, basically three years and no fight. And then you have the other situation, Trevor Bryant, in fight week also. The interim title was put on the line for his fight with BJ Flores. And no one was calling for that except the promoters involved in the fighters wanting to have something to fight for that actually meant something more than having a fight which wasn't even broadcast. So, you know, they're talking further on about all the prestige that it adds. Not in all cases. He really is sort of gilding the lily there because that fight with Flores and Trevor Bryan, it was basically covered by print media. A couple of people who were there wasn't broadcast, you know, I haven't seen that fight. We have to go off the, you know, accounts that were given. So that's another situation where there was no need for a belt. And the WBA justified it by saying it um, thought there was going to be legal action between Manuel Char and Fred Akendo, who were meant to fight but ultimately didn't. But Akendo and Char, their representatives, came out and said, what are you talking about, WBA? So it's another example where, you know, they put a belt on the line for no reason. It didn't need to be on the line. They're the ones creating a situation to put a belt on the line. Same with the Char fight in 2017 against Ustinov. Same with this Flores and uh, Brian one in 2018, July of that year. And then you have the gold champion, which I'll cover off because that didn't need to sort of be given out to anyone. You didn't need to do any of that. It's obviously a you know decision they have actively made. Well, we're going to create another belt here. They put it on the line for Joe Joyce versus Berman Stavern. And that was a fight where it's effectively a prospect against a faded shell of a shell. No one needed to have that title on the line. And the fact that Joe Joyce became the WBA's gold champion didn't really mean anything because no one was calling and recognizing him as a champion apart from the WBA. It's kind of ridiculous. And then he goes on to say in his statements, then we talk about making a tournament with a single champion. Not everyone wants to enter it. When we talk about accepting a champion versus champion fight, not everyone is willing to take part. See, the thing is, the WBA has this uh, massive sort of will to have tournaments and that sort of stuff. No doubt, again, for money purposes and prestige, wanting to be the one that's having this tournament. But, you know, if you're ordering a tournament and it's got the likes of Manuel Char and Trevor Bryan and you've got Anthony Joshua in the tournament as well. I mean, it's an absolute joke of a tournament to start with because those guys are not on the same level. The thing is, you've got about 20 or 30 or sometimes maybe 40 fighters that would be able to take that belt off Manuel Char, who's been parading himself around like a champion since picking up the title and not fighting since. So you have some of these guys who are like C and D level fighters, haven't proven really anything in the heavyweight division, and you want to put them in a title with a guy like Joshua who's got three belts. You know, and who else is going to go into the tournament? 
Robert Hellenius, well, that would be an acceptable opponent, say, on one side of the um, draw of a tournament. But him and Joshua, you need to find six other good fighters. But like he says, tournaments are hard to do. You can't get everyone involved. And the thing is, the WBA is not putting up all the money for this. So, you know, they're just ordering stuff willy-nilly, hoping that it's going to pan out. How about they take the hint that the tournament format is not going to work at heavyweight? He goes on to late, later to talk about, you know, the ideal thing is to do a tournament like the World Boxing Super Series. You've already tried that and it failed dismally and you haven't tried to repeat it since. Take the hint. Get a clue, Gilberto Mendoza. Stop being a joke of an organization and try to run these tournaments that fighters don't want to be in, promoters don't want to put their fighters into, and fans don't want to see. Because having, you know, Char and Brian at this point in a tournament with Anthony Joshua, people are going to label it a joke because it is and then he goes on to say on the other hand a boxer with a title does better a boxer who gets himself a title fight does better yada 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 network does better promoter does better and then the same fan wants to actually pay more attention see i don't think that's necessarily true in all cases sure some title fights you know having the regular title or you know something like that on the line is going to bring some more attention but on the flip side really all these um, titles it's more about money and we'll come to that later not all fighters are doing super well out of this i mean in the heavyweight division you've had char and trevor bryan who've been active inactive i should say for years they're not defending that, those belts and joe joyce he gave up his title robert hellenius out of nowhere gets given the status of gold champion after beating adam kovnatsky and no doubt that was about them sort of saying, hey, if you want this designation, you better make sure that you pay us our sanctioning fee. But more on their money side later, because you know where this is all heading, why they're all doing this. So he says they'd like to have a balance in terms of titles. But what balance is what, what could we offer? This is the thing. They don't want a balance. This is all lip service. He's just talking out, you know, a, a hole in his head and really maybe a hole in his backside too. Because the balance in terms of the champions and having one title, it's already hard enough for fans to try to work out, say, the WBA's bizarre rankings, but then to try wonder why there's four champions. And you have all this confusion within one sanctioning body, remembering that there's four recognized sanctioning bodies and others that also want you know, a seat at the table. How are boxing fans meant to really know what's what? But then you have casual fans who have no idea but even they can smell that something is off with some of these random champions and, you know, belts that look good, but really don't mean anything. And we know why they're doing it. It's all about money, money, money. And Gilberto Mendoza can say what he wants. And he did. He didn't reference the money, but having more champions means more money, more sanctioning fees at all levels and all divisions. Maybe not so much in the heavyweight division of late because Char and Brian have been uh, not fighting. So the WBA creates the gold title, hoping that, you know, someone's going to be fighting for that and bringing in some money. It wouldn't shock me if they bring in more champions. This is not a good signal from Gilberto Mendoza about the future. Because he's co-signing that it's okay to have multiple champions and okay to just continually clip the ticket. He's trying to say that everyone does better out of all this. I don't think fans do better out of all this. I mean, sure, sometimes you might have a big name fighter who's got a regular title. I mean, Manny Pacquiao recently as well. I mean, that sort of, you know, is the exception, not the rule. Most of the time, it's about clipping the ticket. And obviously, promoters and broadcasters, they do get in on the shenanigans and they co-sign it too. They try to make out that someone with a regular title or an interim title or a gold title is the real deal and that they've scaled the heights and now that they're the best man in the division, whatever division that might be. And it's just a joke. And why would you know anyone want to go into a tournament where you've got the likes of Emmanuel Char and Trevor Bryan begging for a payday? You know, it's kind of ridiculous. That's all Char's been doing in recent years, begging for a payday. Someone please come knock me out and overpay me. I'll give you my title. That's really at the heart of his situation. He's looking for the biggest way to cash out while he can. And that might sound a bit blunt and, you know, I guess good on him if he can get the money. But it's pretty transparent what's been happening. He wants to fight for the biggest amount of money that someone's willing to overpay him to get that title. Who knows really what's been happening with Trevor Bryan. He's with Don King. You know, that's not always a good thing these days. But in terms of it being about money, absolutely, that's all it's about. That's all it's ever been about. 
And then if you have four champions in the WBA and other sanctioning bodies, you know, I mean, you can end up having like, you know, half a dozen to eight champions, whatever, just in one division. Dillian White is an interim champion in the WBC. Fortunately, the IBF and fortunately the WBO haven't got any of those designations at the moment. But my count, what's that like? Six or seven champions just in one division, so-called champions. It kind of is ridiculous. And the fact that these guys think that they can just tear the absolute ass out of the situation and try to give us this tripe that they're trying to get us to swallow about, you know, why there needs to be more than one champion. It shows you how out of touch these guys are, that it's only about money, always about money. And it's one of the things that is just another thing that, you know, boxing is really doing it to itself. There's a reason that boxing has been struggling in recent decades. It's not just the promoters. They're a big part of it too. It's the sanctioning bodies too. Everyone is in on it. Everyone is feathering their nest. They don't want others to come in. They don't want any sort of situation where belts get rationalized. They don't want one overall sanctioning body because they don't have the trinkets to promote. They don't have the fees to collect. It really is a joke. And these guys, especially Mendoza, should be giving himself an uppercut with his behavior, the stuff he's coming out with, because it's absolute dog crap. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.